Okay, so in this video, we're going to figure out whether this triangle is a right triangle. And uh, a good place to start is to define what it means to have a right triangle. And hopefully most of you out there know that that is a triangle where one of the angles is 90 degrees. Now, let us uh, let me just kind of draw out a triangle right here. And uh, a 90 degree angle looks like a perfect corner. So this, uh, like a perfect square right there. So that kind of looks... Um, it appears to be a right triangle, at least visually, but in mathematics, we cannot make those assumptions. So to, if we want to absolutely declare whether a triangle is a right triangle, we put this little corner kind of square thing in there like so. So if you, you see tri uh, triangles, okay, at least a sketch or a figure of one with this little notation, that indicates that that is 90 degrees. And uh, right triangles are special type of triangles. There's a lot of properties, a lot of things we know about right triangles. They're very, very important in mathematics. Um, and uh, I'm going to get into a little bit of the things that we're going to need to, in fact, uh, determine whether this triangle here is a right triangle or not. Of course, if you think you can figure this out, uh, definitely go ahead and pause the video and work through it. But it's not that difficult. I'm going to show you exactly how we can determine whether a triangle is right or not. And we'll get into all of this in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And uh, over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. You can check out my math help program by uh, following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two. Uh, I'm going to be launching pre-calculus or short pre-calculus here shortly. I also have uh, courses like college algebra, intermediate algebra, but I have a lot of courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for like the GED, SAT, ACT, uh, GRE, GMAT, Accuplacer, CLEP exam, ALEX exam, uh, maybe a teacher certification exam or nursing school entrance exam. All those exams have a lot of mathematics on it. And obviously, if you don't do well in the math section, you don't do well on the exam. So uh, if you need help with any of these particular exams, just go to my website, check out my full course catalog. I should have what you need. If I do not, please drop me online and I'll help you out the best I can. I also do a lot with uh, independent learners uh, like homeschoolers. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning system and uh, obviously help those of you that are struggling in your current math courses. But uh, one thing that you have to be doing for yourself uh, if you're serious about improving in mathematics and learning it is taking great math notes. So over decades of teaching mathematics, it's just crystal clear to me that those students who take great math notes almost always do very well in class. And then the reverse is true. Those students who were like me, uh, quite distracted, talking to my buddies, you know, writing a bunch of scribble scratch on my paper. Listen, I get it. You know, I was uh, for many years, I was a terrible student. Uh, but, you know, I had to figure out um, how to be a good student. Uh, definitely when you're trying to go for a degree as difficult as mathematics, which I have. And I also have a master's degree. But uh, anyways, that's a side topic. But whatever degree you're going for, even if it's high school, it doesn't make a difference. Um, you're going to have to be focused. You've got to work really, really hard. And note-taking is the key. Now, as you improve in your note-taking, I offer detailed comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, and trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get to this problem. We want to determine, again, whether this is right, basically, whether this right here is 90 degrees or not. So we're going to need to know this, okay? Now, hopefully, uh, most of you out there recognize this, but this is uh, called the Pythagorean Theorem. Now, I'm not going to spell it all out. We'll just kind of abbreviate. The Pythagorean Theorem, it's probably one of the most famous, uh, most widely used, and, you know, of course, I'm just kind of talking off the cuff here, but it's a huge, a critically important uh, theorem in uh, mathematics, and it spans from, you know, geometry, trigonometry, algebra, and it has to do with right triangles. So here, again, we have a triangle. It is a right triangle because, again, I have this notation down here, meaning that uh, this angle right here is 90 degrees. These are special triangles, okay? And 
The Pythagorean theorem says the following, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. But what, are, what does that mean? Well, a is the length of this side. Okay, now if we square it, all right, if we square it, let's just kind of make up some numbers here real quick. Let's call this 3. Let's call this 4. Let's call this 5 so we have something to actually see this with. So if we square this number, and then we add it to the square of this number, it's going to be equal to the square of this number. So let's see this in action. So that would be 3 squared. Yeah, this would be 4 squared. Okay, and that is that equal to 5 squared? Okay, let's go ahead and see. This is 9 plus 16, and this is 25. 9 plus 16 is 25. 25 is equal to 25. So yes, indeed, these lengths, 3, 4, 5, um, are the lengths of an actual right triangle. These are. This is actually called a Pythagorean triple because the lengths are nice uh, whole numbers here, 3, 4, 5. But that's basically how you check whether a, a triangle um, is a right triangle uh, because it will work out. Whatever this length is and this length is, if I square it and add them together, it's going to be the same as the square of this. So if this is um, what I'm talking about here is like uh, giving you a clue on how to solve this problem, well, then go ahead and pause the video and do so because I'm going to show you the solution now. Okay, so here we go. Again, uh, if this is a right triangle, a squared plus b squared is going to be equal to c squared. So you can see I already kind of worked things uh, out here. So in other words, um, a squared, this, okay, squared, we can write that as x squared plus this side squared. So that would be 3x squared. And let's see uh, when we do this, it's, is it going to be equal to this, okay, um, x squared plus uh, 6x. Uh, squared, right? So let's take a look. Uh, and I'll we'll go ahead and do this real quick. So x squared plus uh, 9, uh, this 3x squared will be 9x squared. And just uh, so um, those of you out there might be confused about that, 3x squared is the same thing as 3x times 3x. And uh, of course, that's going to be 9x squared. All right. So now we need to go ahead and see is that going to be this uh, equal to this squared? Okay, and hopefully you can kind of see right off the bat, like mm, there's no way that's going to be the case because x squared plus 6x squared, okay, is going to uh, generate a, a fourth degree uh, polynomial here. All right, let's just go ahead and see that real quick. x squared plus 6x squared is the same thing as x squared plus 6x. Of course, you need to be pretty strong, pretty strong in your algebra. So we can use the FOIL method here. By the way, too, I have, you know, if you're struggling with polynomial multiplication or any of this stuff, I have tons of videos in my other uh, playlist, uh, geometry, pre-algebra, and algebra. So x times x here is going to be x to the fourth. And we don't even need to continue on because uh, the highest power we have over here is x squared. So no need to finish this out. We have conclusive evidence that this is not, okay, not a right triangle. Again, if this was 3 and this was 4 and this was 5, it would be 3 squared plus 4 squared, and that would be equal to 5 squared. This, this is an actual length in an actual right triangle, so that would be 9 plus 16. So that's what we did right here, effectively. And we're trying to check to see if it's this is a hype, the longest side of a right triangle, by the way, it's called the hypotenuse. We wouldn't call this side the hypotenuse because it is not right. But if uh, it's not a right triangle, but if it was, this right here would be called the x, uh, x squared plus 6x would be the hypotenuse. But when we square it, we can see there's no way we're going to get to this. And uh, basically, my question to you was to determine whether it is a right triangle or not. So if you said no, that's excellent. Matter of fact, I'll give you a little happy face for that answer, but you need to justify your answer, okay? If you justified it using a the Pythagorean theorem, then I'll throw in an A plus and a 100%. And matter of fact, let's throw in a little Mohawk as well. So that's a good, um, good, jo good job that you did. Uh, remember, uh, when you do mathematics and you're uh, asked a question, you have to justify your answer. Okay, so there's different uh, 
ways you could do that in a lot of different problems. But this particular problem, there's just no doubt about it. There's, uh, we need the Pythagorean theorem to make uh, that justification. So good job if you remembered uh, the Pythagorean theorem and applied it to this problem. Okay, so if this uh, little problem kind of helped you review the Pythagorean theorem, you know, right triangles and concepts, right triangles, by the way, there's a lot of additional concepts about them, okay? Uh, this is kind of the beginning of trigonometry. Uh, there's other uh, properties about triangles that you need to know. So um, check out my uh, geometry playlist. I have a lot of different stuff on right triangles if you're interested, and you should be interested. If you're interested in this video, then you should be interested in those videos because you're studying a similar topic. But again, if this video helps you out in some way, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, please consider subscribing. Been on YouTube for a long time. I have a lot of videos on my channel, uh, like over a thousand organized from basic to advanced mathematics. Uh, so if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of all the, all that material, all the material I do for you because I'm obsessed with teaching math in a clear and understandable way. That's always my goal. But my best math help will be, will be in my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.